Start streaming. Okay. Let's pop out that chat. Hopefully this won't kill my connection. I'm having some frame rate issues with this game already. It's a very early build of this, though. Hey, what's up? All right, so new plants versus zombies, garden warfare. It's called Battle for, Battle for Neighborville. There we go. Let's see what the week one founder's gift is. Okay. Oh, what's up, Dirt Crew? What's up, Gecko? What's up, Hat Kid? What's up, everyone? Okay, so shift runs. Space jumps. Special ability. What am I looking at? Okay. Still got the chili pepper? Yep, of course. Mm-hmm. Woo! Look at all those frames per second. Real talk, though. I'm, I am having some, uh, some frame rate issues with this, though. Yeah, what's up, Hero Games? What's up, Gretchen? How you doing? <laughs> what's up, Vantage Zone? Oh, snap. You know about the pea shooter ZKRT. Alright, how do I... Okay, press F. Okay. I like how someone's typing there and it's like... <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Press left arrow and find lookout. Lookout! Okay. Using expressions. I already did! Does it have to give me credit? Okay. There's a check mark. Okay. UI design, though. You don't know whether you've done it or not because it doesn't give you feedback right away. Character upgrades. Okay. Upgrades. Okay. Changing booth. Wow, this is... The frame rate on this is dying. I might have to downgrade this to 1080p or something, or maybe even 1440. I'm running this at 4K, but it shouldn't be a problem. Add upgrades. I like how he has much more defined eyeballs here. All right. No, I am, um, my, my throat's been scratchy, so I'm actually, I have a cough drop right now. So hopefully my voice won't get too scratchy. I think it sounds good right now, but, um, let's see. Is that Garden Warfare 3 or a Battle Royale ripoff? This is basically Garden Warfare 3, but it's not called that. It's called Battle for Neighborville. Um, so it, it is Garden Warfare 3, basically. But this is my first, you know, 10 minutes running it. So, and Adam, welcome. TR18, hey. Everyone, what's up? What's up, Wordy? Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun with... Um... <laughs> okay, cool. Thanks, Z-Class. Um, let's see. Okay, okay, thanks, Gretchen. I'll, I'll go back to that. What's up, Rika? <laughs> Without Markiplier, the game would be a lot less popular. Not talking about Plants vs. Zombies, but talking about Five Nights at Freddy's. Let's see. Boost Jones, what is up? For how long will I be streaming? Probably about an hour. We'll see. All right, okay, so I gotta equip a combo.
That's kind of cool. Okay, that, that is equipped. Okay, I see. All right, cool, cool. Uh, that's not going to happen regularly. Critical blow. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, this, my problem is I assist people way, way too much in this game, even when I'm not an assist character. So I would just revive everyone, and then, you know, I'd, I'd be like whatever the revive master is or whatever. Just about every time I play the game, I was really good with engineer, but I would still revive a lot of people. <laughs> All right, um, we're going back. I think that keeps it. All right, we're good. Uh, all right. How do I exit this menu? Mm. Okay. So that selects it. All right, cool. All right, so first thing... All right, as Gretchen said here, I have to hit the F key. Up arrow brings up favorites. Okay. Up arrow favorites. Okay. Strategies. What do I want to say a whole lot? Quick hide. There. Alright. Gestures. Okay. Emote favorites. Oh, thanks. Emote. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Emotes. This one. Set as favorite. Yes. All right. Scared. Oh, that's a scared face. Uh. Now let's not have that. <laughs> I ain't never scared. All right. Uh, that. Sure. Okay. Happy. All right. Let's go over here. I'm Sweetie's fave. Okay. Promoted. Equipment. Okay, that one's done. All right, so this is this is the tutorial so far. Let's see. Yes, this is definitely multiplayer. Okay. Hey, we got DA Games over here. <laughs> Making a cameo. Alright. If there's a puzzle in here, that would be really nice. That would be really, really nice. Let's see. Alright, let's go through the comments. Hold up. Yeah, it is, um, I got it for 27 because I have Origin Basic Access or whatever. If you have Premiere, you can get it for free, but that's 100 a year, and I'm not paying that. Like, that, that's not worth it to me. The, uh, the $30 per year so I can play Madden with a few, few guys for 10 hours or other stuff, um, that, that I can, that I can deal with. Like, that's, that's a nice enough library for 30 a year, but, um, let's see. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if people are if people are spamming, hold on. Hey, what's up, Blackfoot Fair? Hey, been a long time. Oh no, you spam? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, welcome. You deleted. Oh, <laughs> just all right. Gotcha. Yeah, he was spamming. Um, you can speak Spanish. Uh, not very well, but I did take up through Spanish for in high school. Wow. 
I took up to Latin. What was it? I think I, I think it was three years of Latin, four years of Spanish, six years of Greek, and seven years of Hebrew. It's mostly for translational stuff, because Old Testament is Hebrew and a touch of Aramaic, and then Koine Greek, Common Greek. Lingua Franca of the day for the New Testament. Pat Lily, what's up? Hey, thank you so much. You are my only sponsor on Patreon, so that is cool. Um, it is also on PS4, yes. I believe on Xbox One as well. Uh, thoughts of PvZ Battle Royale? I don't know, I just played like 10 minutes of it so far, maybe 15. It's pretty cool so far. I like there. there's a changing booth here as well. I didn't notice that. So there are multiple, I think, right? No, I don't know. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I got a um, I got a 1080 Ti in here, and a 10 core processor, so it, it should be able to handle it. Hey, what's up? Um, yeah, uh, what is October 18th? I think is the the final launch date on this. This isn't FNAF, yes. <laughs> I agree. Gecko, thank you. Also, Gretchen, I don't memorize DDR charts, um, so I don't play while blindfolded. A lot of it's just pattern recognition, but I don't have any new mix uh, that's accessible and streamable, I should say, combined. Um, so uh, I'm going to juggle through Extreme, and then I'm going to think about whether I want to keep playing DDR or not, because I just don't have a machine with a new mix that I can play anywhere near. Um, and I should say, like, I mean, I could drive three hours, make a three-hour trip, day trip or whatever, but I got to work. I've been working crazy hours. It's just, it's not working out. Uh, have you ever played The Binding of Isaac? Um, I have not. Um, whoa, there's all sorts of stuff around here. What time is it here? It is 6.20 p.m. right now. <laughs> I have some of your food. Sure, here, um, here, there you go, have some water. <laughs> Do I like Mario? I grew up with Mario, so, um, I generally liked Mario. Um, I did not like the one with Cat Mario, that's kind of where I left off, but I thought Mario Galaxy 2 was a masterpiece that that game was so much fun plus that extra quest at the end with the uh the green shines or whatever yeah that was uh that was a fun game really fun um well done soundtrack everything that reminds me too tower unite actually got a uh an arcade uh edition so i need to i need to go check that at some point too it's just been a long time since I've been able to sit down and play stuff for a prolonged period of time. So hopefully that'll level out. I did get four extra days off, so that will be good. Okay. Destroy five round targets. Alright, bring it. Come on now. I think I am done, yeah? <laughs> that was more than five, if my math is right. I made a math error on my last video. I'm still kind of annoyed about that. I'm usually really clutch at math, but... Boy, it wasn't on that one. I was using 40 as the denominator instead of 60. I don't know what I was thinking. Boost XP for 15,000. What? Is there an explanation for what this does? Maybe. XP machine. All right. Alright, is audio good on this too? Like the audio balance? Yeah, I really I I liked even Mario Galaxy 1 was pretty phenomenal too. But I I, I love Mario Galaxy and then 2 came out and I'm thinking, man, I wonder if they'll be able to match that and, and I thought they really did. So um yeah, I'm I'm a big Mario fan. The thing the thing is with uh, Sonic, I know uh, Derp Crew has been asking me to play Sonic. Um <laughs> Yeah, it's like like Flowey from Undertale. Um, uh, Dirt Crew wanted me to play Sonic. I'm really bad at Sonic. 
Um, all right. And I guess it's one thing I could get good at. All right, boost XP. Ah, there we go. All right. Yay! Level two. Wow, I'm so good now. Level three. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> Did I age 80 years? Thank you. Oh, yeah. Click, click the money. All right. Frame rate's getting a little better, I think. Is the frame rate really choppy for you all? Like, are you getting motion sick from this? Because if you are, then I can lower the uh, resolution. And it'll probably perform better. Rocks. Give me, give me whatever the gift is. Yeah, there we go. Okay, four more. So ears of defense. It's all the uh, the Snapdragon stuff. You can actually play as a Snapdragon now. It's kind of cool. Uh, what plant and zombie fighter do I usually use? Um, zombie usually the engineer or the the uh, chemist. But usually the engineer. And I usually just revive people too much. <laughs> I think I had like a... What was it? I guess best I did with the engineer was something around a 47 vanquish streak. And then like revives. I would almost always revive the most people. So I'd, I'd get that uh, that badge just about every time. Um, and engineer is not, really not really a revival character. And then on the plants... Um, The plants either I would be rock pea or um, or one of the sunflowers, and I was usually the the um, the fire flower. Either that or the the, um, the ice cactus. I also use quite a bit. Those are the three. I used an ice pea for a while, but I realized how low tier he was. Um, so those are the ones I would usually play as. But the uh, sunflowers were nice because they can revive twice as fast. I think it's twice as fast. Um, but that's the thing, like, if I see someone down on the map, I just, I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> Revive and that type of thing. So I'm much more of a an assist character on this. But Engineer, I guess I can set up stuff. Set up drones. How have I ever played Halo? Um, yes, but not a lot. I guess the FPS is I never really got into much. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare was kind of the uh, cartoony, tame version, so... I don't know. That's a less serious feel than, you know, actual being, actually being on a, a battlefield. Mm. Okay, where am I at? Four out of eight. Rewardotron. Oh, okay. Rewardotron. Rewardotron. All right. What is this? Buy capsule. I like how they give you the money for this. That's kind of nice. Okay, perfect part. Um, all right, now I'll go back. Whoa, making me a little motion sick. Look at me not paying attention. All right, I got some coins. We got three more. Can you actually type in this? No. Okay, so you get you get a gesture. Happy jump. <laughs> DJ Stir happy jump. Terraria. Um. Man. Will the stream be public after this? I'm planning on it. Yes. How am I playing on PC? Yes. Mac, thank you. I'm hoping that the last video with the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 will help people actually win the mode. 
um, at least get someone over the edge of 4 or 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. But it's um, I'm I'm thinking of going through my uh, my latest win and then just mapping exact mapping exact frames of what happens when, to see if if those theories are right where I have questions. So like if I have to wait a second into that cycle, um, see if there are any exceptions to that during that run. So that's uh something I kind of want to do, but I don't know. Someone said, you're like a Five Nights at Freddy's teacher, and I'm like, LOL. <laughs> That's not going to be my main hallmark in life, though. Is there any timer on this? Yeah, I like that. Blow him up, blow him up. Okay, hey, gave me 15 points on that, why? give me 15 instead of 13. It's like I'm not hitting the bullseye every time to get 13 either. Like, let me try to hit the edge. Or, oh yeah, there we go. It gave me 5, right? Uh, right in the edge. It gives me 13 even if I hit it on the edge. But it gives me XP. Can't you just abuse this and farm the mess out of it? It's like, leave this on overnight. Hey, I leveled up just by clicking on, on targets. Lovely. Alright, is that invincible? Can I just run up to them? Yes. Now, what is back here? I like that clip through right there. See? Ooh, alright. Alright. Getting it from there also does not get you any extra points. Wow, that frame rate. Alright. Comments. Five guys, man. Hey, good point, Gretchen. Hey, I, I bet Gretchen has played this. Gretchen's paying a lot more attention. All right, let's see. Gretchen, Imp, and Sunflower. Yeah, the um, what was the uh, the Mass Effect mech was really good, and I like the shrimp. The shrimp was pretty funny, but he he didn't. I don't know. I didn't have any good games with with the shrimp. <laughs> I love the um, I love the cats versus the uh, the gnomes, right? Cats versus gnomes. Yeah, that was um, that was pretty good. And playing that multiplayer, I have I have one video of one we played through and just got the uh, got the rewards. But there wasn't really any incentive for going past wave. What was it, twenty five? Where you got the max level, whatever. Um. All right. All right. All right. On origin, yes, PC origin. What if there was an infinity stage there? Graphics would probably be cool and different. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Infinity, infinity time, right? All right, let's talk to the one near Rex. Do I have a Nintendo Switch? No. Birthday's October eighteenth. Cool. So right when this releases. All right. I still can't beat FNAF 2, I feel like I will soon be in 50-20 mode. Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's more reliant on skill for 50-20, but there is still, I mean, Toy Freddy is still a pain, and Foxy's a pain, and I don't know, It's it just comes down to you getting a lucky run and having the time to do it. <laughs> yeah, and, and if, if, uh, if my videos have helped, then very cool. You play FNAF like you created the games. <laughs> everyone says I'm uh oh, no, not everyone. A few people here say I, I look I look like someone who made the games. There's only one person who made it. It's like not a mystery. Um, but no, I didn't. I didn't program it. I would have been very um, annoyed with any bugs left in the game. That's that's the difference between me and Scott on this. I'm coming from the QA side, and one of the th one of my favorite things about QA is reverse engineering, as well as I mean like the whole architecture side, architecture, determining how you do things, and then propagating that down, training people so that they can do things the right way. Yeah, that would be um, 
that would be what I'm really interested in. But the, uh, the bug, bug finding and thinking of how the dynamics work and thinking from a code perspective how he made it, yeah, that's it, those are things I naturally do because I don't just QA, I also... I do more development than I QA, so it's more of a hybrid type role. A lot of automation. But I mean, nowadays I've been developing stuff for developers because I can't develop right. And I'm just... I don't know. I'm doing much more work than I should at this point. Vanquish a zombie. Alright. Where you at, zombies? Run. Where is zombie at? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh boy, I'm dead. Nope. Zombie that way. <laughs> no, <laughs> I got it. Hey, what's up, Five Nights at Froakies? No, I want to vanquish you so I can get a uh, get the achievement. All right, hold on. Or get this mission done at least. Whoa. A little lag there. And is the frame rate like okay and not making y'all nauseous? Let's see. Oh, I made it to 60 65k. Gold target destroyed. Alright, that, that's kind of nice. Maybe I should sit here, get that one. Did I get that one? Yeah. And then did it just randomly appear? Oh, well. Are you in... What are you? Oh, okay. Acorn. Oh, look at you. Is that a new character here? <laughs> I would hope so. Um, let's see. Watch Sturf at DJ Sturf is the final boss in this game. I was hoping he would do that for FNAF World, you know. That would be kind of funny. But, nah, you, that, that would make the game kind of... I think that would make the game stink. <laughs> it's too too specialized to a random, random dude who played his games. Let's see. So I use Discord. Every blue moon. But not a whole lot. Ooh, there's a first aid opportunity. Where you at? Oh, you're over there. Come around the corner. Bummer. Where was the first aid? I guess I missed it. Is that an enemy or I can't tell? Let's go. BPG. Ah, come on. I still didn't get him. That got it. I just want to vanquish a zombie, and I kind of want to break those gold targets too. Do I like um, Crash Bandicoot and uh, Spyro the Dragon? I've played very little of, uh, of those both. Alright. Watch. Gold target. Are you an enemy or not? What? I would I would estimate that's probably a plant. Oh, there's the bowling alley. Looks like a duck pin bowling alley there. Uh, where y'all at? An enemy? No. 
Okay, so I'm guessing blue... Whoa. Blue is probably ally, right? Alright, there's one. Well, you got the vanquish, right? <laughs> no! Quest continues. Reload R, yeah. Riding a ride to vanquish the dudes. Where is everyone? If I do I take fall damage in this? Nope. Okay, good. So it's like the other ones. What's my favorite FNAF game? Hmm. Finally. All right, I gotta go back now. How do I get back? Here? I'm hoping. Maybe? Okay. Hmm. I don't know. There's several. Several of the games have good parts too. This is the wrong one. Warp home. Oh, this one's easy. Okay. Warp home. You like the stuffy. The other one. No. All right, where are the markers? All right, there's one. Okay. Give me that money. All right. Five thousand. And then one more. Backtrack. Is it over here? Yeah. Alright, this should be the end of the uh, tutorial missions then. Hey, Adam, yeah, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> yeah, the war phone was, was pretty easy. I just had to find my way back. Alright, now I'll talk to Major Sweetie. Doghouse there. What would Marsha say? Okay. You gonna give me a treasure chest? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, it's right here. Sixty thousand coins, common. All right. Cool. I guess. So I can get like two items from here. Reward Otron, 9,000. What, what am I? Okay, 133k. Should I save my money? I'm more inclined to uh, to save my cash. So this, is a, this is a new character, huh? Acorn. Go to the changing booth. Let's see what characters there are now on the plant side. Okay. All right, so Chomper's back. All right, Colonel Corn. Which one was uh? How is 60k coins common? I mean, I was getting 15 and 30,000 from the other ones, so um, I think the economy is a little bit different on this one. Uh, let's see. What was the main corn on the last one? Hmm. 
<clears throat> okay, so you can have three of each character. Like three presets, basically. But if I change the... Okay, yeah! Yeah, okay, so three presets, because you keep the XP on this one. Um, here we go. Ch oh, nope, I don't want to select Chomper. But actually... Same stuff. Have a little bit of a bounce there. Maybe it would have been better for me to vanquish using a chopper. And then goop. Pull that. Barf it up, boy. Freddy plushes in. He's all the way across, across the hallway. He's just like sits there in the sits there in the corner. That's about it. <laughs> Nightcap. Details. So this one's a new one. Stealth and mobility, shadow sneak, feng fu. All right, seems like a pretty fun guy. Haha. <laughs> All right, Q two and E. Q two and E. I, I guess I mean that makes sense, right? Because you don't you, you can't have uh can't have W, but I don't know why it's not one two three. Why is it not one two three? Snapdragon. I don't know about that, Gretchen. That might be... <laughs> people could take that the wrong way. Me, I mean, if people asked, then maybe. Snapdragon. Whoa, alright. Alright. Okay, so there's a little, little wind-up on that. Fire. So he just, he just spits at hot fire. Like Dylon. Top five rappers. Spits that hot fire. I don't like the movement on the Snapdragon, though. Maybe... Huh. That's interesting. It's so weird to see him not in a pot. Because the Snapdragon was a decent pot plant. Alright, Cactus is back. The weird, the weirdest ones were like Jade Cactus from the last game. I just never saw... I never saw a point to Jade Cactus. Um, or so the future cactus was pretty cool, but you had to charge him up all the way and then if you hit it was it was like <laughs> Ridiculous amounts of damage like 95% of their health Citron's back sunflower, of course Rose as a support character I guess that makes sense Not as likely to deal the killing blow but can transform into goats and all that. let me let me look at the uh, the character details here yeah, Godify. Still there. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. It makes sense. So you debuff, team buff, and then disable the enemy for a short period of time. I really like the Sunflower in the first two games. Still have the Sunlight, Sunbeam. Yep. Yeah, I like that. And I like the meter in front of you. That's pretty cool. Alright. Heal? Heal beam? Nope. Oh, it just it just disperses health. Huh. Alright, that's different. And then heal beam. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what I would have expected. Huh. Huh. Alright. Who else? This acorn right here, what in the world? Acorn one. So we have to have Torchwood to to show him? Or is he part of tor Torchwood? Let's see, customize. Oh, okay. Got that animal nose guard. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go back. Let's see the actual uh, character details. Sap trap. Okay, so knockback explosive. Transform into oak. Okay, so this is not quite the same. Transform into an oak. So it's it's basically like a dragon zord. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Chat. Yeah, Mac, I still have that um I still have that plush. Okay, yeah, I covered that. Yeah. 
Uh, nightcap is really popular. So the stealth one, so nightcap here. Alright, so let's see the abilities. Hmm, okay. This is a sneak one, right? That's a time-based one, because I stopped moving and it kept going down quickly. Interesting. It's a nightcap. Charge attack? No, you just hold it down. Alright. Huh. Alright, there's one charge in that. So what is it, 20 and then a charge one? Alright, so he's a sneaky. And then... Go with the acorn here. I like that run animation. <laughs> That's pretty legit. I like that. I can't, I can't jump that far. Can accomplish anything on that. Anyway, Boost Jones, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Alright, hey, thank you for stopping by. Ha, <laughs> yep. Okay, okay. I see you, Gretchen. I get it. What are the, the character designs? That is interesting, too. Um, Botanic. They did change some of the character designs for sure. Um, I guess the weirdest thing so far to me is the uh, the very detailed eyeballs on the pea shooter. Oh yeah, let me look through the uh, abilities on this one. All right, so that one just sits there, right? And then you to detonate. So it's kind of just a grenade trap, basically. Ooh, let's get it! Let's get it! Let's get it! How long does that last? Not very long. Oh, never mind. How long do I stay as Oak? Do I just stay as Oak? Can I... Oh, oh. Okay. Oh. I think I get why people choose Acorn now. Okay. Two. Okay, so that pops... That pops out. Transforming. Yeah, gotcha. Huh. That is, that's kind of wild. All right. Just, just like, destroy log. <laughs> Vomit ball. Boom. All right. I don't want to be too sappy here. All right. Rose. Rose is definitely different looking. She control the same. What was it? Okay, so you Huh. All right. I never liked Rose as a character. Charge all the way up again. Nope. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be playing Rose a whole lot. I'll probably still be Sunflower a bunch. Heal you up, fam. It's more of the comic relief because I was really good with um, Sunflower offensively as well. Can she jump? Three notes. Hmm. 
close. Nope. I don't know. Who can make that jump? <laughs> there we go. No, 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 no. All right, let's do this. There we go! Yeah! That's hot. That's why I bought the game, so I could play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star really badly on on a simulation, a piano simulation with a sunflower. Alright, Oak is forever. Yeah! I guess you transform and can transform back if you need the speed. The acorn doesn't have too much offensive firepower. It looks like oak is ridiculous. I mean, that's the torchwood of this game, I guess. Huh. Nightcap has a double jump. Ooh. Nightcap has a double jump. Ooh wee. I gotta get used to using the F key as well, because. Oh my goodness, there is! Yes! Nightcap. A little double jump action. I want to get that Pikachu teleport. And like teleport twice. That's what I need. Anyone else? Citron. I guess I used Frozen Citron some, but I didn't. I don't know. For a lot of the solo missions, I would use Frozen Citron, but it was mostly because he had a shield. Um, so all the um, the rainbow and uh, what is it? Red Guardian and Blue Guardian, all that. I think I use Frozen Citron most of the time. I think if there's any exception. Who did I use other than that? I guess I might have used a mech on some... Yeah, I used a mech on some of them. Yeah, I used one of the mechs because I would, like, <laughs> use all I could on the mech, and then I would run, and then <laughs> I would just try to hide. Um, I think it was a little more successful with... Uh... Still the... Uh... Oh, sorry. Um... I think I was more successful with the Frozen Citron on those, because he was a little more uh, normal, less gimmicky, I guess. Promote characters. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, I got you. Ha. Uh, promote characters when they reach level 10. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you can you can figure out what you want to upgrade and what you get from it. Hey, I like that better than uh, the second one. There are more characters in this one, too. It looks like they've been working pretty hard on this. I know it's been pre-alpha for a little while, but now it is Founder's Edition, so I can actually play. Um, I guess let's go back to Pea Shooter. I get into level 10 eventually, but... Yeah, that's hot. Do I play Dolphin? No, what is Dolphin? Do I play Multiplier? <laughs> Multiply... Multiplayer. <laughs> Mix mixture of Multiplayer and Markiplier. Um... Uh, sure, visit Town Center. Okay. Okay, so I got you. So there are four missions here, right? Main region rewards. I mean, I don't want any of these. <laughs> I don't want any of these. All right, launch. All right, let's go. Oh no, I, I don't. I don't have any emulators on this. I guess best best I did on that was uh, one of my friends, Ken, had a modded Xbox way, way back, like 20 years ago. That was a long time ago. 
It's like we played games I had on the NES anyway, so it's like, all right, cool. <laughs> there were some custom ROMs that were uh, Super Mario Warhol. It was just it, it, like you shot, it was like, oh, oh, and then when you hit something, it was like, boom, shakalaka. So it usually NBA Jam sound effects. It was just kind of odd all over the place. All right, report to Major Sweetie. We're going. Here we go. Let's go. Okay. Boogie beat down. Okay. Going for it. Alright, TR18, thank you for stopping by. <laughs> I am old, though. But old is also a state of mind that I don't belong to. I don't know, I didn't... I think I would feel this young at my age. Feel pretty good. Old school. Beat is fresh. Snap. Oh, there are zombies here. What the heck? I got someone. Okay, the TV heads are zombies now. What am I? Okay. I'm missing the uh, hit window here. You are not on cool list. Shoot him. You are not on cool list. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I went there. Now what? Next. <laughs> so that's a fetch quest to 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 say I'm not cool. Cool. All right, thousand coins and what I get? Seventy-five hundred coins. All right. on boss. The decor is pretty nice. Alright, Major Sweetie. I'm headed your way. Come on. Stop. Missing. Come on, you like that, right? Yeah, come over here. Yeah. Escort lawnmower, really? Oh, well, don't want him to run me over. It would be funny if I. Okay, it doesn't run you over. The hitbox. Mm, catch up with that one. So we gotta get the crew together, I guess. Let's chase that one down. There you go.
Yes, I did. Soldiers won't be fooled, but the other one will. Are you serious? Oh, that was a good idea. Revive? No! What? I can't revive him. Wow. Well, bye, Cactus. That's a bummer. Do I get a penalty for that? Oh no, I escorted the lawnmower. I wanted to get that chest, but I could not get there. Baron's hat, Yeti's bling, and Sensei's goatee. Okay. You just said a lot there. All right. Open this. Seventy-five hundred coins. Catching comments here. Yeah, I think the game looks pretty good too. C R R P C R R E P R. Cool. <laughs> Alright, Sergeant Peel, here we go. We're gonna go on this other mission here. Okay. I got 30 tacos. I can't get anything now. Alright, where to? He just wants extra tacos. Alright, so I gotta pick up some tacos, I guess. Can I jump on this trampoline? Uh, oh, come on now. Ah. Uh, Lancers and zombies. Now that one is pretty much indestructible. All right. Uh, strange well discovered. So I guess this became very random all of a sudden. Can I get him out? Maybe not. I don't think I should jump down there. Yeah, give me those. Yeah. All right. One taco. Man, I'm going to get a ton of these. I do like the run function on this. Got those hot beats. Yeah, just walk right into it. AI. <laughs> All right, squash. Where are you going? Come on. 
I don't know if I'm, I'm supposed to do this mission, or if this is a mission, or, or what. Come on. Where are you going? It's, I don't know if I'm doing a mission before I'm supposed to, and if that's going to mess it up, but, I mean, that's the point of... Trying stuff out. How does it feel to control? Decent? Let's go, Squash. Oh, Yeti! Come on, give me, give me more tacos. Give me more tacos. Don't freeze me, though. He's moving. Ooh, okay. Uh, controls feel okay. Yeah, the dashing does look different. <laughs> Perhaps a little odd. Mm, get a go. Disappeared. Okay, I should have just gone Gatling on him. Whoops. Alright, we're squash. Oh. Weird looking plant. Hunting license. Ah, oh, that's interesting. I like faster shots with less damage apiece. Makes you feel as if you're accomplishing something. Requires mind blower. All right. Ooh, disco zombie. Invincible, right? Not anymore. Probably should back that up. Yeah, um, it's, it was $27 with, uh, EA Basic. That's a 10% discount, so I think it's 30 right now without it. Quite sure. And the thing is, I have some friends who, <clears throat> they won't play it unless it's, like, 7 bucks. So it's probably gonna go down to that eventually, but it's gonna be a little bit. So I will be playing this alone. I'm one of the few who will actually pay for, you know, an early, early attempt at a, a release. Pluses and minuses to it. Where did the squash go? Did I leave him in here? in the world? Is there a gargantu gargantua around here? No, it's you. It's me. Got that Pizza Hut symbol going on, too. Electric slide, alright. Yeah, I had the Deluxe as well. Um, uh, of two. 
I just guess like no one no one else wanted to play it, so I just started playing like NBA 2K19 and that type of thing. And 2K19 is fun. It's just I guess we uh we beat most of the modes, got most of the stuff we wanted, got all the characters, and it kind of just uh got a little old, but this is a life cycle of a game. I can't find the squash. I think I just I think I lost them. looking car here. Yeah, they're gonna blow up. Item collected. Stole hubcap. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you got the wheels off of this car. Break in. Alright. Let's go on the roof. Yeah. Okay. Like press, press right mouse button to hover. That's new. Hey, what's up, Rika? Yeah, what I did was um, I got EA All Access, which unlocked all the deluxe features. I talked to EA support and was like, hey, these other two are not unlocked. They were like, um, like Christmas and Halloween characters or whatever. I was like, if this is all access, why well, don't I have access to this? So they unlocked it. I was like, cool. They didn't unlock one of them that was, um, there was one of them that was like beyond its date. They did not give me that one. Like, you gotta wait until next year if it's there. I'm still not gonna get this Yeti in time. Ah. There we go, finally. What is that? Let's see. What? Crystal dog. What was with his face? What is with his face? Why can I why can I run like this? That is very odd looking. Okay. We <laughs> It's spin around my character while I'm running. Oh man. Hey. Let's take one of that. Boom! Oh, you can hover! Oh, you a punk, huh? Oh, you a punk. Bye bye. Can't believe you can hover. It's a new new ability there. But it makes sense. All right, let's let's go up the mountain here. Yeah, I can understand that. Um, I played Madden every blue moon with with some friends, but we have to play co-op here. You can't actually play co-op online. Um, so that's been kind of weak. Oh, hello. No. My phone is ringing. Bye-bye. Jump the fence. Don't really want to jump down there. A phone is ringing. Level 8. 7,500 coins. Is there something to collect here? No. How could I collect something? Yeah, I wonder what it was. 
And the crystal dog was very odd. So when I was in high school, some of my friends didn't like losing all the time to me. Because I would usually find a way to win a lot, like almost all the time, if not all the time. And so we would play co-op all the time. So a lot of a lot of friends just would only play co-op with me. They would not play versus against me because I, I would always find a way to win. Um, and I'm competitive, but I'm I'm kind about it. I mean, I help other people through stuff, and if people exceed, uh, people succeed and excel, if they exceed, then I congratulate them. I mean, it's it's. You know, life is more than, uh, more than a game. That feels like an overpowered enemy. And I would think in harder difficulties, it's probably going to be a problem. But anyway, we, we try to play co-op games a whole bunch if we play. Um, it turned out to be like that with Super Smash Bros. Melee as well. Because we would, we would play with the extreme handicap against us and the computer we would play three three players against one level nine handicap nine a computer and we would be like whatever the minimum like no handicap or whatever the level one we were dumbed down and they were amped up so we play that instead of playing versus each other i guess i'm too good at some stuff sometimes there are people who are better than I am. I mean, that's, bas that's basically a rule of... Uh, just you know, basic rule. There's probably someone out there who is slightly better at some aspect of it. So even if you're the best at something, or near the best, or whatever... Okay. I want that... Can I just jump over him? Oh, I guess not. Come on. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. But there's probably someone better at some aspect of anything. So it's better not to get uh, too wrapped up in the game. Or attributing significance to being good at a game. Oh, a pirate! Be back. Come on, stay in place for me. I guess the squash is gone. I feel like I should just do this. Stars! Ooh, alright, you're overpowered. Wow, what a surprise. Overpowered all star. Wow, you fell for it too. I like the fast pulse, that's kind of neat. supposed to do in this? Oh yeah, we gotta get the mind there, yeah. So I gotta go back with all the tacos. I'm piecing it together. I have to figure out, I have to solve the lore of this game. I have to find a withered zombie. Figure out the lore behind the bite of 19. Faint gnomish energy. Sure. Ooh. Alright, exit this. Uh, 
so apparently gravity does not affect anything in this. Hmm. So I'll need to hit that at some point here. If I do jump in there, I probably lose a bunch. It really, it really, it really sent me, sent me to that, huh? F. Yes, thank you. Oh, well, I just jumped in the water. <laughs> yeah, we we didn't. Um, I don't know. My parents are pretty strict about that type of stuff, so we didn't play a whole lot of fighting games at all. Smash Brothers was like the cartoony version. Which also explains this game. Alright, is that another crystal dog or whatever? Crystal dog has shattered. Okay, so I'm guessing, uh... I think I get it. So if you, if you uh, get a Yeti and you get a crystal dog, it probably gives you some buff. Probably makes you weak, but makes your damage ridiculous. Basically turns you into a glass cannon. There's one right there. A Nomolith? Okay. Here. Okay! Oh shoot! What the heck? It moved! <laughs> Doggone it. Ah! Where is it? No! Ten more tacos. I'm waiting. Really? What's it gonna do? Yay, I did it! Golden Gnome has appeared. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I did it! Alright. I feel sort of accomplished. That was a little unsettling, some of those platforms. Run. Okay! Why are you running backwards, though? Alright. Let me see how many tacos I have, because I just wasted 20 of them. I'm probably not going to be able to buy as much swag as I want. But that's part of the mission here. Anyway, I'll probably play for like 10 more minutes, and then I'll, I'll call it a stream. I'll be playing Five Nights at Freddy's stuff at some other point as well, so I mean, I haven't forgotten that that game exists, or those, those games exist. They exist. They sometimes exist. Which way back? Be 
beware of dog. Keep hitting E. It's like the old game. Where's the dog at? Right here, dog. Actually get level 10 pretty quick. Um, if I get to level 10 that quickly, I wonder about the progression. I guess it's not linear. Yeah, 40 20 is good. I mean, that's plenty if you don't want to be annoyed all the time. Gotta figure out the pattern for this guy. At least hit him? Maybe. He's probably invincible still. Gotta figure him out. I'm going right back to him. Okay, that was fine. Keep a distance. That animation though, he's like infinitely falling. Treasure Yeti is near, all right. Need that crystal dog. Oh! Give me that crystal dog. Yeah, give me that crystal dog. Alright. Oh, shoot. What the heck? Agility overwhelms you. Lovely. Let's go swimming. Oh, he here. Bye bye. What does it get you? 24. Alright, so I'm not going to charge back to health, huh? What's supposed to do? Oh, there's an engineer. Oh, that's not. Oh. So, what does a crystal dog do? <laughs> then make you extremely fragile. Twenty tacos. There we go. Broke enemy forces. Okay. There. Behind me, too. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Ultimate Cussin Knight. Yeah, 
Yeah, um, the, uh, entered private room. Every now and then you get really, uh, nice odds. Favorable RNG. Sister location, custom night. 40 divided by 20 equals 2, yes. Oh, my webcam froze? Hold up. Oh, is it? Oh, it looks, it looks to be back. I think we good. Looks fine from here. I mean, 95 tacos. I don't have a whole lot of tacos. Treasure Yeti. That's actually a person. All right. Side quest. I can get promoted. Nice. Alright, catch that no. Let's go. Let's go. Shoot. Get out of the way. Where, where is it? Okay. No! Get out of the way!
go. Oh. No! What? Oh. Did I... Did I get it or not? I guess I didn't. Go. Know where the... Get out of the way. I don't... Where? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Was that it or not? I can't tell. I can't tell. I think that this was a bug. This was not supposed to be here. I think. I think. But I already collected it. I think. <laughs> I just wish I had a message like, hey, you already got this one. Right, I need to find my way back. But first... Give me that. Give me tacos. Yeah. So someone asked earlier why 60,000 was a common, and I think I get what you're saying now. Uh, let's decline for now. Okay, I can't go back to it, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I gotta do all these, um, all these missions. Yeah, I don't I don't see a bulletin board. I guess I should probably well, here's another chest. There's always something for you to find in here, something for you to do, so it's it hard to get to a stopping point really. But let's uh quit the giddy park. Yeah, y'all played the remastered versions of FNAF? I know they're all mobile and all that, I just don't usually play the mobile versions of them. I had a phone that, like, rocks back and forth too much, so it, it was kind of a pain. It's supposed to say 5K and mile. It says 5K and Mike. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. I get a 5k tomorrow. Um, I guess these next, like, 10 races in 7 weeks, is it, or 6 weeks? So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a stretch. I'm just gonna try not to get injured. Anyway, um, that's gonna be the stream. Yeah, if they're hard to play, that's the thing. Like, I don't know how to record it, I don't know all that. This is Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 3, basically, but it's called Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Yeah, it's basically GW3. It's cool so far. Uh, there are some new characters. I just went on the plant side, so you can rewind the stream and watch that. But there are a few extras, like there's this uh, acorn, and you can turn into oak over here. There's also Snapdragon as a playable character, and Nightcap. Which is like a, a stealth type of character. Rose looks a little different. Basic same character. Same thing with Citron. Sunflowers here. Cactus is back. With the garlic drone. 
Chomper, as always, and Pea Shooter has very detailed eyeballs, which is very weird looking. Huge irises. Huge pupils. Everything is just... Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's it's mid October for the for the release date. You can get this on Origin or I think PS4 and Xbox One, but I have this on PC Origin. Um, and it runs decently. It does run into a few frame issues, but I'm running it at uh, 4K 60. Let's see video. So I swapped over to Direct3D 12, and it's running a little bit better than, than 11. That was one of the first things I tested there, but... Um, yeah. Runs decently. And I can rec I can uh, promote this one. Let me actually do that. I'll go through a promotion, and we'll end the stream. Where was it? Shooter advanced already. I don't know. <laughs> I like having 4K. Gives you so much more space on your desktop. That's so much, so much niceness. And I have a dual 4K right now. So I used to have a um, 3x1080, just right to left. At work, I have two monitors and a laptop monitor, so it's technically three monitors, but one's vertical, so I, I do a lot of code stuff on that, and then one horizontal, and then the laptop. Um, but it all it all adds up. I really like the space you have on a 4K monitor. Uh, I do not have an RTX. I have a 1080 Ti. Still runs great, so I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh-oh! FNAF AR! Uh-oh! Alright, hold on. FNAF AR. Augmented reality, let's see. Hmm. All right, so let's check this out. Play capture. Let's put this over here. And visible. Yeah. There we go. I think y'all can see that, right? FNAF AR. Oh, it's me! 11-11, <laughs> Monday, September 2nd. Okay. It's me. Ten twenty nineteen. October 20th, huh? Okay. So we're looking at October 20th, huh? 10-20. It's on 10-20. Isn't that silly? Anything else in this? You got the cupcake over here. You can't click this, obviously, because it's a YouTube video. There's Foxy's hook. Got that mic. Shout out to Freddy. Got that uh, metallic stuff back there. Let's see what that actually is. is like part of an endoskeleton's mouth or something. It looks like the um, use or uh, what was it? F Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator, with that chair being across from it. Ten, oh, 10 dot 2019. Okay, it does it's not 1020 necessarily. It's just October 2019. All right. 
Is it a, a scratch phone with, with whose mark? With whose mark? I don't know. Looks like a Foxy's phone here. 1111. Unknown, it's me. It's not a valid phone number. It's supposed to be a text. What kind of goofy phone is that? Is there something hidden in the frame here? Oh, it loaded Giddy Park. Why did it load Giddy Park? Hold on. All right, what type? Of, what type of phone? Well, it's got a got a USB port here. Or I say I should say a USB charging port. Let's see. What's that background? Light bulbs. Is that like uh What is that game called? Um Spin and win. Oh, okay. Due to inactivity, you've been moved from a social neighborville server to your own private server. Okay, I don't mind that. That's fine. Um, it's like the lights on an arcade game, basically. It might not be spin and win, but it looks kind of like that. Either that or uh, crazy curves or something like that. It's like an amusement type thing, like you see at David Buster's. Oh, you got a flashlight right here and a camera. For your mobile devices, I'm sure. <laughs> Augmented reality. Alright, well that's that's pretty cool. Thanks for showing me Derp Crew. And oh yeah, here we go. Okay, and there. Y'all y'all see ya. Make sure y'all saw all that. If if so, I'll, I'll revisit it. Um, where my chrome at? There we go. <laughs> Background kind of looks like little bit. September sixth, their phone's data is off. Yep. This might be a Fred Bear's Diner game, finally. It could be. FNAF Earth. All right. <laughs> um, ultimate custom at Halloween update would be so cool. Man, I don't know. <laughs> I'd probably play it eventually, but... Man, I don't have good memories of the old one. All right, let's see. The vehicle background kind of looks like a little bit. Fre Freddy Shadow... Yes. Um, I have a Samsung Note now. So this is relatively new. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't mind too much. I mean, Ultimate Custom Night wasn't all that bad, difficulty-wise and all that. It was just the main puzzle was figuring out how everything fits together with the strategy that would work. So it is kind of annoying when people are like, oh man, you use death coin. It's like, it's part of the game, plus piecing together a strategy that works for that? Man. I look back on that, I'm like, yeah, that, I did pretty well. And it helped a lot of people through that who normally didn't beat those types of things. So, it was cool. But man, playing that was a lot of stress. Uh, work work did not slow down during that time too, so uh yeah. Hefty weeks. I lost something that was like eleven or twelve pounds during that time too. Customize victory slabs. Yeah, like, I mean, I, I used to develop some stuff for Android. Oh, that's kind of cool. 
Okay, you can customize this. Left we'll puncher, so I guess you can get, get other stuff. That's cool. Um. Yeah, no, don't forget the Halloween lights. Um. How does it feel to be the third person to be 50-20 mode? Um. I wish Remory's channel got more attention. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, you put, you put in the time to, to finish the mode. I had other stuff to work on. Mostly what I think of when I think of third is, I probably could have pushed and finished first. Um, I don't think there's any real question about that. The number of hours I put in was a lot less than the other others who finished up front. It's just, I gotta work. You know, this doesn't make me much money. I have a very nice job. I want to keep that job. I'm also not going to let my teammates down. I think that's more important than finishing a game. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's it's fine. I'm just I'm glad to be uh, done with all the modes, <laughs> and then be able to do that with Halloween lights on FNAF 2. Um, there's no ultimate custom light Halloween note uh, Halloween lights or whatever. So yeah. So Remory and Daco than me. Those are the three on 50-20. But I mean, I don't like any flack for that because I didn't get the game three weeks, three weeks early. And I spent 32 hours in game <laughs> beating this and that's a lot less than everyone else who finished up front. So, I was extremely efficient. I did what I needed to do. Whatever. We got Scott's interview. That was my main thing. The people on Reddit were like, well, DJ Sturge is trying to Trying to get views or steal Daco's thunder, and I'm like, I'm messaging him several times every hour. Giving him hints, helping him through, trying to keep him sane because he kept getting lashed back about Remory being further and that type of thing. And then, like, Remory being totally ditched after the whole thing. Just like, come on. I don't know, people, people don't respond always in the way that you want. It would have been cool for... Remory to have gotten a lot more attention. He's, he's got the skills to pay the bills. Um, I know he tried to play through some of the other Five Nights at Freddy's. I offered to help help him through some of those too with strategies and all that, but he just said he didn't he didn't like playing them, so he just didn't really want to do it. Wanted to keep doing his thing, which I totally understand too. It's like if you don't like doing it, then why push for something you don't like to do? So yeah. I mean, Daco had the deal with Scott. Um, so, if Daco won, then we would all get the Scott interview. So, that was part of it. So, a lot of a lot of me doing that was for the community so that, one, Daco wouldn't go to the hospital again. Because, I mean, I don't want... don't want him going to the hospital again. He had the whole lung thing. Whenever he's stressed, it doesn't help. So, I was hoping to help in that way. And also to get that Scott interview. Scott didn't have a deal with me. He didn't have a deal with Remory. So. Priorities met. I did it in the way that I wanted to. And I did it, I think, in the right order. So. I'm fine with it. <laughs> so those are my thoughts on it. I just think it's silly how. Uh, man. It, it was a lot of uh, brain strain. Have you started reading the comments on your 10, 20 in-depth video? Hey, um, your comment got flagged for spam. I think it's just because it's so long. Um, hold on, let me actually go to that right now. Let me unflag it. Let's see. So I've seen a few of them, but it's just the work week kind of crept up. So I wanted to get something here for you all. So I'm not leaving you abandoned. Um... I feel like Timberland, like, been a long time. Shouldn't have left you. Um, let's see. Where is it? Spam, there we go, yeah. Not spam anymore. That is a long comment, too. Hold on. Let me get to it.
Because I saw it and I skimmed through it. I'm like, wait a minute, why is this spam? I think it was just because it was so long. I, I make, I mean, I think through stuff very in depth as well. So I understand that. Thumb up. <laughs> oh no okay so so you finished you didn't get the video that that stinks on that mode um man okay um i don't know if that actually uses any extra flashlight battery either the one thing i wanted to test as well is having my mask on and then just tapping control with that mask on I'm pretty sure Foxy would still jump at you, uh, but I don't fully know. I could just check. All right, hold on. I have to change game capture here, load up the game. That is a that is kind of a cool start to a game, though, with PVZ GW3, basically. Um, program file, Steam apps, common. All right, 5 minutes of Freddy's 2. All right, let me do another game capture here. And sorry, this, the footage will be stretched. I saw that comment too. I'm like, I mean, I guess I could force scaling if it really bugs you. I could, I could do it again with uh, no scaling game capture. It'll probably take a few seconds. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so the thing I want to test, Foxy at 20. So let's go to Foxy, Foxy preset so I don't have to reset everyone. And then I'm going to keep my mask on. So you're probably going to see a jump scare. I just want to see if hitting control at all will register for a flash on Foxy. I'm guessing no. But we'll see very, very shortly. All right, cam 11. No one else is here, so... Okay. So if I do this and then... I'm going to hit control a bunch. You're probably going to get a jump scare, so just a warning. It's going to be loud. <laughs> jump hit. Okay. All right, so it doesn't work with your mask on. All right, that's all I wanted to see. Um, oh, that would have been a cool exploit. Like, if you could have the mask on while other animatronics were attacking and then just hit control while that was going on and then have Foxy be scared. So, I mean, if you... I guess, like, if you're holding the mask on your head, like, why couldn't you just hold it like this and then, you know, hit the flashlight like this. Um, but I guess if it's so big that you have to hold it like this and you can't flash a flashlight, why not just put the flashlight in your mouth and be like, and then Foxy be like, ah, he jump scare himself and then shut him off, shut himself off. The problem I have with these games is there's always something that's just silly where, I mean, why don't you just bring a generator in the first game or why don't you bring salt water and anytime you see an animatronic just throw salt water on the animatronic and then it'll short circuit um or five nights at freddy's four why don't you just get a lock <laughs> to lock your doors get the doors from five nights at freddy's one and put them in get those installed or maybe duct tape get some duct tape duct tape the door shut because apparently how holding the door shut keeps this like metal mouth fang beast from entering your door, what prevents Nightmare Bonnie from just chomping through the door you're holding? Like, ugh, that's it. That's it. You're gone. That's it. And then why do you run, like, face to the ground? I know it's an animation thing, but, I mean, it's just like, you need to work on your running form. I guess he's trying to storm Area 51 with that type of running form, running like Naruto. I just want to see the hands behind his back while he's running to the door. Like, <laughs> like great good running form yeah at least you're not a you're at least you're not a heel striker so um i don't know and then five nights at freddy's three it's like you got one animatronic why don't you just go in the other room like you see a spring trap over here why don't you just go through the vent and like exit that doorway or you see the you see a spring trap immediately why is there no exit door button like just exit who cares burn the place down from the outside that's it five nights at freddy's three you win um, so I don't know some of these dynamics you just think about it and you're like why is this even a thing like why are there no doors in Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is that the cool thing like back in the day that was a nouveau style like hey let's get rid of the doors to make it more secure that'll be great so I don't know I don't know and then ultimate or what uh what was it 
FFPS, FNAF 6, you have um, the audio lure. Like, they're going to get they're gonna get tricked all the time. Like, oh, here he is. And then they go there and they're like, I think he's here. I mean, <laughs> like Springtrap and FNAF 3. Like, hi. It's like, okay, you tricked him. Oh, man. So, anyway, not exactly realistic, but... Boy, he took the franchise so far for this simple of a, a concept. Uh, I know it became much more complex as things went along, I should say, Ultimate Custom Night. That, I feel, was a complete game, but it was supposed to be like a side game off of FFPS. Um, so that, it just, it's kind of funny how things developed, but anyway. Um, all right, that's the end of the stream. Thanks to everyone for watching. And uh, yeah, the, the bugs, too. Like, man, uh, yeah. Just tell the animatronics no. Thank you. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy. There, there are a lot of bugs that should be fixed. Those drive me nuts, too, even from a QA standpoint. But um, I think of how things could be and how they could be fixed. There are very easy ways for those to be fixed. So anyway, um, if you want to rewind and all that, I'll make this a public stream. Um, I, I try to do that anyway, but... Um, I don't know why that got filtered too. Some of YouTube's flagging weird, weird stuff. I mean, like with and with anything electronic, if you throw water on it, if it's pure water, it's not going to be that big a deal. But if you're if you have like Coca Cola, if you spill a Coke on your keyboard, you're probably going to fry the board because there's an extra sugar component to it. It's not pure water; it can be conductive, but especially salt, make it really conductive and yeah, try to short circuit stuff, corrode everything. So yeah. Oh, man. Anyway, yeah, FNAF AR. Thanks, Derp Crew. Have you seen the Steam thread that Scott made? There was a bunch of news about upcoming games, and there was a FNAF multiplayer. You or I on that day one. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I don't know. That, that, that'll be interesting. Uh, I don't know whether he's going to do, like, a you versus someone or um, or you, you co-op or whatever. It'd be cool to have a co-op so then my friends would actually play it. So otherwise, it would be like, nah, I don't want to lose. And I'm like, man, come on. It's like, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Do I have to juggle while I play? All right. Um, but then people complain about that, too. It's, oh, hey, I won a tournament while juggling. And people are like, man, I'm going to beat you up. It's like, oh. <laughs> okay. Luckily, I have a... Um, linebacker bodyguard type guy with me so didn't exactly work out for him um he's a gentle guy too so there was no there was no anyone getting beaten up but someone was diverted from beating someone else up anyway um thanks everyone for watching peace god bless you have a great day and that's it all right the end bye <laughs> 5k tomorrow again oh man all right see ya